peaches so today I'm going to be doing this dewy glowy youthful gorgeous look for you guys I just was really inspired I don't know just by everything I got these two new palettes from Morphe which I'm going to talk about in a second and I have just been loving how shimmery one of them is and everything and so I decided I wanted to do kind of like a, a highlighted dewy look I don't know I just really love it and I hope that you guys do too um, I'm gonna have everything that you need to know linked down below also I feel like um, at the beginning of this I should just go ahead and say that a lot of these products are from the drugstore the palettes I can't remember exactly how much both of them were um, but I feel like if you go to like colourpop.com um, that they probably have similar colors and you can just pick out individuals I think their eyeshadows are like $5.99 a piece um, and I use in this tutorial four or five so I feel like that is not too bad so I hope that you guys enjoy this and let's go ahead and get into this look Okay, so I have you guys zoomed in to start with. So basically, I'm just going to tell you really quickly what I used for my face. So I just concealed underneath my eyes with my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. Then I went over that with my Dream Lumi. Um, this is a highlighter and a concealer, and it's from Maybelline. I really, really like this, so I just kind of did not a super dramatic, like, full coverage thing, just to give it a little bit of lightness there. Then I went over to highlight with my Magic Lumi L'Oreal highlighter. So I did this. Um, this is another liquid one. On the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, my forehead, the whole deal. Um, and then for foundation, I used the True Match Lumi foundation. And just set that very, very lightly with my Airspun foundation from um, Cody. So what I've done right now is I've taken my... Um, this is a Nug lip mask, and I searched everywhere for this. I think I showed this in my haul video, um, and I ended up finding this online at Target.com, and I had to special order it. So I just go ahead and put that on my lips and have that set while I do everything else. My mom just texted me and said, Baby, would you like Chinese food? Mama, I always want Chinese food. So for eyeshadow, I am using my two Morphe palettes that I have been in love with. It is the 350350, however you like to call it. Um, I believe it's 350 is like the actual name for it. So this is a matte and shimmer. I got this because they had a special like deal going on. I honestly can't remember how much it was, but I do know that I could still use my um, uh, discount code that I just use Patrick Star because that's the one that I like knew off the top of my head. And um, I thought that was an awesome deal. This is the first makeup product I have from them. I have a lot of their brushes and I'm obsessed with those. And I've been wanting to try this for a long time, but I think I only checked to see if they had it in stock like once and then I just got lucky on this one. And I also ordered a concealer that if you guys want me to do a full review on that, I can definitely do that. So all that to say, I'm going to go in first with the matte palette. So let me show you guys what that one looks like. It already looks a little dirty because I've used this every single day. Every day. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this lightest color here. I'm going to do a zoom in in just a second. And basically, I'm just going to lay this as my foundation so that all of my other colors are going to go on a little bit smoother and blend easier. So this is the color right here that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to get some of that and then I'm just going to smooth that all over, all the way up onto my brow bone. So then the only other two colors I'm going to use from this palette are these two, which are um, basically like a flesh kind of pinky color. And then the other one is more of a, a brown tan. So these are the two that I'm using. I'm going to start with this one as my transition, and then this is going to be the thing that adds a little bit of color for me. Oh, it does have a number. A lot of my um, eyeshadow brushes from Morphe don't have a number, but this is the M139. I've officially decided that I have to have a beauty room just because I do not have space for um, my makeup in here and filming is just too like it's too much to do on a daily basis and sometimes I don't know when it's going to hit me like that I want to film because right now it's just a Thursday night like it's seven o'clock or something nothing's going on and I'm just like I think I'm going to film right now and to get everything out takes so much time because I have to like get my lights out and like literally assemble them two of them and then like get my tripod set up right and then get my camera and then put my makeup out on like a vanity seat because I don't have a table in here I don't know it's just too much so um I am working on either getting like an office space or something because I need a little something so um I've worked that color in 
pretty good. Now to blend out that top line, I'm going to be taking my favorite Sigma brush, and that is the E40, so it's just a really fluffy, fluffy, big brush, and that's just going to help everything look a little bit smoother. So now I'm going to take that brownie tan color. There's another word for that that I'm not thinking of. And I'm just going to start putting that right on top. I'm doing very, very gentle slow motions with this, though, because since it is a little darker than what I am, um, I can get carried away with this super quick. This is a caramel color, that's what it is, right? Yet again, we're gonna go in with that Sigma and just blend out. That is honestly it for the definition of this look. So then, all that we're gonna do with eyeshadow now, go in with your shimmer palette. Then we're gonna use like my favorite color ever in this palette. First of all, can we just take a minute? Look at that shimmer. I'm gonna take this first color here, which is just basically white. So this is what that color looks like, totally gorgeous, super shimmery, pretty. Now I'm going to take another Morphe brush, this is one that doesn't have a num- <coughs> What? This is a flat shader, it doesn't have a number on it. So I'm going to get a good bit of that, I'm going to put that underneath my brow bone. And I go kind of heavy with this underneath my brow bone just because I want that um, place of my face to really, really pop. Then I'm going to take that same color and just put it on the inner corner. Eek, I told you guys we were done with eyeshadow, but we're actually not. So the last thing we're going to do for shadow is just take the two colors that we put in the crease, and I'm going to take an itty bitty little brush. This is not a pencil brush, but um, it's super similar. I'm going to take those same two colors, get a good mix of them, and then I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. I've already taken off my makeup that I wore to work today, so I have a little bit of that left over, which is not ideal for this look, but I was just so excited to film. So then we're going to go on with this color um, in the shimmer palette as well. It is right next to, or one over from, the first white shimmery color that we used. And this is obviously more of a peachy pink shimmer. I'm just going to take that same um, shader brush and just a little bit of this. You don't need a lot of it. I'm just going to put that on my eyelid. So for the inner waterline of my lower lash, I'm going to be using this Rimmel London. This is the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and it is in the color in the nude. So it's just a nude liner. Literally anything similar to this, or even a white will work. Um, personally, on my eyes, I feel like if I use white, then I just look really red-eyed. So I like to use a nude liner instead. I usually like to skip this part because I feel like some people would not like to watch this, but here's what we're doing. You like that action? Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio. This is a gel liner in the color Black is Black, if I can ever get this open. It just looks like this. I feel like I've had people compare this to the Fluid Line from MAC. Definitely it's not as smooth as that, um, but it is pretty close to it. I'm just going to take another Morphe brush. I purchased a whole kit from Morphe, so most of my brushes are from them. This is actually a lip brush, but it is super thin, and I really like this to create a super, super sharp, clean wing. So now that I have a basic shape for that, I will say about that eyeliner that sometimes it's hard to get like a super pigmented color. So I'm going to go back over that with some liquid liner. And I've really been loving my Galactic Beauty one. This is just a regular pin liner. I don't think it has a special name. Precise Eyeliner Marker. Um, and I really like this. The tip on it is super. It's really skinny, but it's also kind of bigger than what you're normally working with. So I feel like it gives you a little bit more control. So I'm just going to go right over top of that. Okay, now that we've got that done, it is time for a little bit of mascara. I really like the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. This is from L'Oreal, and it is in a gold tube like this. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lower lashes, and I'm going to wait to put anything on my top because I'm going to do false lashes. So for my lashes, I'm just going to use the Demi Wispy from Ardell. It's everybody's favorite. And I, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that on camera just because I feel like I cannot hold my mirror and do this at the same time. I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are done. Now what I'm going to do is take my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is a powder highlighter, and I absolutely love this. This is from the drugstore. And with all four colors in there, 
it just gives you this really beautiful shimmer. So I'm actually going to be using, this is a contouring brush from Morphe, believe it or not. And I'm just going to start working on my cheekbone and take that up a little bit to my temple as well. Once I get a good bit of that on there, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers that has powder all over it and I hit myself in the face. I'm just going to take Pink Leopard, which is down here and it's kind of like a... Um, a blush as well and I'm just going to take a blush brush this is another one from Morphe it doesn't have a number on it and then I'm just going to focus on kind of making this carve out my cheek here so quickly to finish up the lips I'm going to use my Jordana lip liner in Rock and Rose which is just a mauve color then I'm going to fill them in with my Viva Glam Gaga um, lipstick from MAC which is this really really pretty um, mocha color I really really love this really 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 <laughs> I want this look to be really dewy and glowy I'm gonna go in with some clear lip gloss this is from Milani and it is just the moisture lock coconut oil infused treatment and I'm just gonna get a bit of that and dab it on and then um, smooth that out with my finger so now I'm just gonna finish with contouring my nose and then I'm going to be right back with you guys so that is it for this look I hope that you guys enjoyed it I think it's really recreatable and really really simple and easy and just youthful and glowy and dewy I super super love it I hope that you guys did too don't forget to leave me down below what you want to see next time also I got a snapchat finally I'm still figuring it out I don't exactly understand it but I'm gonna have all my social medias linked down below for you guys and don't forget that you suggest and I do my best I will see you guys next time bye why is it doing that?